hey what's going on you know who it is you know what it is you know as much as i enjoyed that game between the lakers and the clippers which i stand by what i say the western conference finals to me will pretty much decide the nba finals i believe when it's all said and done i believe that i believe that either the clippers or the los angeles lakers will be holding up the larry o'brien trophy i truly believe that you know as far as the bucks go they just rely too much on Giannis, and it's just like this is they just rely too much on Giannis. they just don't have consistent scores where the clippers do and the and the lakers at times they do but when you look at the lakers the lakers are really still a two-man team it really comes down to lebron james and anthony davis but at the end of the day once again uh you know lebron james gets all the credit for the win tonight and he did his thing but as i said before i think no anthony davis i don't think the lakers are successful as successful as they've been this year they will more than likely finish with home court advantage throughout the playoffs and the clippers will have to go who am i fooling i don't even know why we got to say the clippers gonna go on the road to play the lakers basically none of, nobody's going nowhere this is to be honest with you this is the ideal series because a away game for the clippers is a home game for the lakers and a home game for the lakers is a, a you, you know a away game for the clippers so it's pretty much vice versa it's just so basically there's not going to be any home field advantage you know what i'm saying <laughs> in the nba western conference finals i'm just keeping it 100. It, it's not going to make a difference that's kind of absurd to say oh well the lakers won because they had home court advantage but the clippers and the lakers playing the same damn arena so <laughs> I mean, so i mean you know it is what it is but one thing that i i am concerned about that i don't want to dilute the series i don't want it to taint the series and we gotta be honest and i know people are gonna be upset when i say this but at the end of the day ask me do i really give a flying fuck my biggest concern in this series is making this the lebron fest and basically what i mean is you're not allowed to play defense against lebron james basically where lebron flops and basically initiates contact and he gets all the call I don't want this to come down to officiating. I want it to come down to basically, look, at the end of the day, the referees are not gonna get every call right, but at the end of the day, you don't want it to look like it's blatant. You don't want it to look like, basically, they want a certain team to win. You don't wanna have conspiracy theory with the NBA because people will be watching closely. Now, I watched that game with the Clippers. Look, at the end of the day, they just had certain guys that just did, didn't perform today. And people are saying, you know, some of the officiating was, was suspect. But the Clippers did go to the free throw line more than the Lakers did. At the end of the day, foul calling is all about momentum. It's not how many fouls that you call, it's when you call the foul okay so it don't matter how many fouls get called on this team versus that team it's like when you call a foul straight up but i want this series more than likely between the lakers and the clippers i want it to be a monumental series i want it to be a historic series i want it to be one of the highest rated series you know in nba history but if the referees in the NBA make it about LeBron and make it obvious that they're trying to help LeBron get to the finals and win the finals, then we're going to be like, okay, here we go again. LeBron didn't earn it. He got help from the NBA again. And this is going to piss people off. So this is all I'm saying. I just want the shit to be officiated fair. Let me know what you guys think. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.